Hey, I'm Tim from Melanie Ann Home Life, and today I'm going to be replacing this broken trailer jack. I'm going to be replacing it with a new Motomaster swing arm trailer jack. Let's get into it. So I bought this Motomaster Swing Away trailer arm from Canadian Tire for about $60. It has a thousand pound lift capacity and it will travel up and down about a foot. And most importantly, it's a swing arm, which is great because it makes life so much easier. Now for everybody's favorite part, unboxing. So as you can see, this box isn't very big. There was really heavy duty tape on the corners and it, which made it a little difficult to get into. And if you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. So here you go. There is the jack and swivel arm. Looks pretty sturdy. Um, I was happy with this for sure. Next we have the plastic solid wheel, which is awesome. No flat tires here. And the bag of goodies. Let's open it up and see what we got. We've got two brackets for mounting on the back of the trailer tongue. We've got the four bolts to hold everything together, the bolts and the collar for the wheel, and the rubber sleeve with the bolt for the handle crank. And last but not least, we have the instructions. I'm not sure if this is the original. It's not very good. The Everything is loose on it. The main thing is this right here. It is, the wheel is broken in half. I don't know if you can see that or not right down in here. Um, my driveway is very steep at the end, going down the apron to the road. And when the ball hitch, when I had the original ball hitch on there, the trailer got, got caught on the wheel as I was pulling it out. So it folded the wheel in half and now it's no good. It's being held up right now by this bungee cord right here. So it's time to get this one off and install that one. So the big part of the problem was I've got a 2019 Ford Flex. That's a great vehicle. It pulls everything like a dream. But the problem is this ball hitch. And when the weight of the trailer's on it, I barely have the room of my fist between the, the ground and this nut. So right now, I believe that it's sitting at 10 inches, which is pretty good. But when the trailer's on it, like I said, it's really low. So the first thing I did to resolve that problem is I got another trailer hitch and I reversed where the ball sits. Let me know in the comments if that's a good idea or a bad idea. I don't know. I've never, I've never heard of this before. I asked somebody to do it. They said, sure, why not? So now I have 12 inches of clearance, two extra inches. So I'm hoping that'll translate into roughly about seven inches off the ground when the trailer's on. First, we got to remove the propane tank. Too small, not enough power. Too much power and I ended up rounding off the bolt on the bottom. Time for the reciprocating saw. We've had this trailer for about a year. I've never had to fill the propane tank. I don't know when the previous owner filled the propane tank last but all the nuts on this trailer are seized on. Okay, propane tank's gone. I'll uh, replace those bolts later on in the spring. Um, next, I'm gonna try to get these nuts off here and here. Uh, same thing, saws all. I thought that cutting the top of the bolt off would be the fastest way, but there wasn't enough room and it ended up not working. On to plan B, I ended up sawing through the bolts between the actual jack and the frame of the trailer. 
Seems like there was a lot of plan B's and C's while installing this trailer jack. Step one is to put the wheel on. Step two is to put the crank on. Okay, wheel. Slip the silver liner into the space between the wheels. Slide the threaded bolt through to the two holes and then place your lock washer on. Tighten it all up. Time for the handle. Okay, time for the final step, and that is just to mount these bolts through here into this piece right here. Back to the back. out swivel it so I don't like the way this hangs down I was thinking maybe an old dollar store carabiner to smack on there but we'll see how that works after filming this I realized that if you crank the wheel all the way into the shaft the handle will lock above the tongue of the trailer which actually works really well I'm Tim from Melanie Ann Home Life and I just want to say thanks for watching thanks for helping me out put on the trailer jack and we'll see you next time.